The following video is intended to provide a basic overview of how to use Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant for processing heat-sensitive, semi-critical medical devices. This presentation does not take the place of the instructions for use, which come with the product and must be read prior to use. Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant should not be used to reprocess any urological instrumentation that is used for cystoscopy or other urological procedures for patients with a history of bladder cancer. In rare instances, similar orthophilaldehyde or OPA-based disinfectants have been associated with anaphylaxis-like reactions in bladder cancer patients undergoing repeated cystoscopies. Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant should not be used to reprocess any instrumentation for patients with known sensitivity to similar OPA disinfectant solutions. Avoid contact with eyes, skin, or clothing. Always read the bottle label and package insert before using Rapicide OPA28 solution. Welcome to the Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant in-service training program. Crosstex has developed this program to help you learn how to use Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant when reprocessing flexible endoscopes, either manually or in automated endoscope reprocessors, also known as AERs. This video gives basic information about Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant, or HLD, and how to change out and reprocess with Rapicide OPA28 along with the proper storage and disposal of Rapicide OPA28. Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant provides a superior way to reprocess heat-sensitive, semi-critical medical devices that are unsuitable for sterilization. Rapicide OPA28 features 5-minute AER disinfection contact time, 10-minute manual disinfection contact time, 28-day reuse life, which is twice the reuse period of 14-day OPA brands, with guaranteed materials compatibility, which allows for the ultimate combination of safety, convenience, and value. Rapicide OPA28 10-minute manual disinfection contact time provides one extra disinfection cycle for every five instruments reprocessed compared to 12-minute OPA, allowing you to reprocess one extra scope per hour and reduce downtime of medical devices. Rapicide OPA28 is supplied ready to use and does not require activation. Instrument cleaning is a crucial part of the decontamination process. Instrument cleaning and decontamination should occur immediately after the procedure and before reprocessing to prevent soil from drying and to prevent the formation of biofilm. Crosstex recommends Crosstex Sani Prozyme Enzymatic Detergent for ultrasonic or manual cleaning. Enzymes and detergents like Crosstex Sani Prozyme Enzymatic Detergent are specially formulated to break down or digest the organic soils so the detergent can remove them without being redeposited on the cleaned instrument surface. Make sure to follow your department's policy and procedures for proper cleaning. The Medical Device Manufacturer's Validated Reprocessing Instructions for Use, or IFU, should also be available and followed. General cleaning and decontamination guidelines are available from industry associations such as AORN, AAMI, and SGNA for additional information about cleaning standards and practices. Personal protection equipment, or PPE, must always be worn when handling contaminated instruments and equipment to protect skin, eyes, mucous membranes, and clothing from splashes. Always follow your department's procedure for wearing PPE when high-level disinfecting. Crosstex recommends the use of Crosstex Secure Fit face masks for face protection, featuring dual aluminum strips above the nose and under the chin. The patent-pending design eliminates gaps, increases protection, and greatly reduces fogging while maximizing breathability and comfort. Wear Crosstex face shields along with Crosstex Secure Fit face masks, gloves of appropriate length, and fluid-resistant gowns when disinfecting devices with Rapizide OPA28. Let's review the change-out and disinfection procedure for Rapicide HLD when using an AER. Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant has been validated for use in the Medivators DSD201, SSD102, CER1 Optima, and CER2 Optima automated reprocessors, and the CER1 and CER2. 
make sure to consult both the AER and medical device manufacturer's IFU, which comes with the equipment and must be read prior to use. In this example, we will be using the Medivator's DSD201 Dual Basin AER. To clean out when switching from one type of disinfectant to another in the Medivator's DSD reprocessor, follow these steps. Remove the existing disinfectant by evacuating the existing disinfectant from the reservoir tank. This can be done by pressing the disinfectant dump and start keys on the AER control panel. Visually ensure that the reservoir tank is empty. Remove the tank and wipe it clean with a damp, lint-free cloth. Refit the tank in the machine. Fill the reservoir tank with fresh water. Run two standard cycles with the fresh water and dump again using the same control panel process as before. The Rapicide HLD solution is now ready to be added. Open the bottle of Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant. Make sure to have the department's reprocessing log available and record the date the solution was poured on the container label or in the logbook. If any solution is remaining in the original bottle, tightly secure the cap and record the new expiration date on the bottle. The new expiration date must not exceed the original expiration date on the bottle. High-level disinfection requires appropriate temperature, contact time, and length of use following solution activation. Always confirm the temperature of the solution in the holding tank is at least 20 degrees Celsius. Next, determine whether the concentration of OPA, the active ingredient in Rapicide OPA28 solution, is above or below the established minimum recommended concentration or MRC of 0.35% by using Rapicide OPA28 test strips. Immerse the entire indicator pad on the test strip into the Rapicide OPA28 solution for a full three seconds. Remove the strip and touch the long edge on the paper towel to remove any excess Rapicide OPA28 HLD solution. Lay the strip pad side up on a paper towel and start a timer for 90 seconds. Compare the indicator pad to the color blocks on the test strip bottle at exactly 90 seconds and interpret the result. The color of the indicator pad will be green when the concentration of OPA is above the 0.35% MRC. Make sure to test the solution before each disinfection. The Rapicide OPA28 HLD solution can be used for a period up to 28 days, provided that prior to each use, the concentration of OPA in the solution is verified using Rapicide OPA28 test strips to be above the MRC of 0.35%. The solution must be discarded after 28 days. After MRC testing is complete, fill the AER with the Rapicide OPA28 HLD solution. Be sure to refer to the daily preventive maintenance check sheet for a day-to-day -day preventive maintenance. To run the reprocessing cycle, close the lid and secure. Select the appropriate cycle and select Start to begin. Perform the automated disinfection cycle in accordance with the AER manufacturer's IFU. Be sure to select a cycle that has been validated for use with OPA-based disinfectants and the scope manufacturer's IFU. When the cycle is complete, verify that the stop LED is illuminated before opening the lid and removing the scope. Now, let's review how Rapicide OPA28 HLD is used in manual reprocessing. Follow the same steps as before for testing the MRC of the Rapicide OPA28 HLD solution. Place the pre-clean scope into the manual holding tank that contains the Rapicide OPA28 HLD solution. Immerse the device completely in the Rapicide OPA28 HLD solution at or above 0.35% OPA for a minimum of 10 minutes at room temperature, which should be a minimum of 20 degrees Celsius. Make sure all lumens are filled. Remove the device from the solution and rinse thoroughly according to the device manufacturer's rinsing instructions. In the absence of the device manufacturer's rinsing instructions, thoroughly rinse by immersing in a large volume of water. Keep the device entirely submerged while rinsing. Always use fresh volumes of water for each rinse. Do not reuse the water for rinsing for any other purpose. Repeat the procedure two additional times for a total of three rinses with large volumes of fresh water to remove any residue. Three separate large volume water immersion rinses are required unless otherwise specified by device manufacturer's instructions. Refer to the medical device manufacturer's IFU for drying. 
Be sure to follow any state, local, or department disposal regulations when disposing Rapicide HLD. Unless otherwise specified, Rapicide OPA 28 HLD can be safely discarded down the drain, making sure to flush thoroughly with water. Store Rapicide OPA 28 in its original sealed container at a controlled room temperature of 15 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius, or 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit in a well-ventilated area. Once opened, the unused portion of the solution may be stored in its original container for up to 75 days until used. Flexible endoscopes are some of the most challenging medical devices for healthcare facilities to reprocess due to their unique design and complex reprocessing steps. But through strict adherence to standards and best practices, such as those set forth by AAMI, AORN, and SGNA, healthcare facilities and those responsible for the reprocessing of heat-sensitive semi-critical medical devices can feel confident that quality and patient safety will not be compromised when using Rapicide OPA28 high-level disinfectant. For additional product or ordering information, or to learn more, be sure to visit opa28.com, email info at spsmedical.com, or call 800-722-1529, plus 1-585-359-0130.